All right, so this is how I'm preparing the timeline for Civil War II. Uh, basically, we recorded with two cameras, an A camera and a B camera. And then we also recorded additional uncompressed audio, which is ideal for, yeah. is ideal for theatrical mixing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a really cool technique that DaVinci Resolve has for syncing audio. First, we're going to take our camera A clip. And we're going to quickly go through and we see that we have the slate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a camera and I'm going to put it on video track two. And that's going to give me the ability to view that as my main camera whenever I need it. Then I'm going to choose uh, camera B. And we confirm that the slate is accurate there. So we're going to drag that onto uh, video track one. Now, the reason we're doing this is because because this is a talking head mockumentary, we want to make sure that everything is synced and as easy to edit as possible with a multi-camera setup. So basically, I'm going to be editing this, and anytime I need to cut uh, for coverage, I'm going to sw switch to camera B. Now, with that being said, we also have the isolated audio, and we want to make sure that that syncs. We want to make this as little maintenance, as low maintenance as possible for our future post uh, editors and sound and coloring and what have you. So we're going to look at our audio track now. We're going to quickly go through. Okay, and we see here that here is the slate clap as signified by this waveform. Uh, other sounds that will make this kind of waveform shape is uh, clapping of the hands. But basically, this is where uh, we want to track our uh, our take number. And we confirm that this is, in fact, take one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click take this. And as you can see here, there are four tracks of audio. I've already prepared these four mono tracks here uh, just below my camera A and camera B audio. So literally, all I have to do is click and drag this here. And now it is roughly all together. Now, this is not exactly synced. But DaVinci Resolve has a great tool to sync audio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of the clips. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to go to Auto Align Clips based on waveform. Now, we did not capture sync timecode on this, but we are going to do based on waveform. And it's going to do a little calculating. OK, and now uh, we have sunk all of these clips together, and we can hear them overlapping. Now, we see that it's sync. One last thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to hit link clips to make sure that these uh, all stay together, or at least are all tracking together as far as time code, if any are offset by a significant amount. And we'll do that here with this test. If we take this audio track and move it ever so slightly, you'll see a red time code uh, does appear uh, distinguishing the offset. Now, the reason we're going about this is because we have all of this great material here. And basically, we can go in at any point and say, hey, we're going to take out this section because we need to cut to another shot. Automatically, camera B appears. And so that is easy peasy. This is the set it and forget it uh, form of editing that I enjoy. So thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on Patreon. Thank you so much.